Hi, welcome to the Priestnall History Hub. This video is all about William Harvey. So, who actually was Harvey? He was born in 1578 and he lived until 1657. He studied medicine at Cambridge and Padua universities and he became doctor to King James I. Before his breakthrough, so Galen said that new blood was constantly made in the liver to replace blood that was burned up in the body. Galen also said that veins carried blood and air around the body and that blood flows from one side of the heart to the other through invisible holes. Other doctors had begun to challenge this, but nobody could explain how blood actually moved around the body. So what was Harvey's big breakthrough then? So in 1628, Harvey published a book, An Anatomical Account of the Motion of the Heart and Blood. In the book, he described how the blood flowed around the body and proved that Galen had been wrong. Harvey made his discoveries by dissecting live, cold-blooded animals and dead humans. This helped him build up a knowledge of the heart. Through dissection, he proved the heart was like a pump and that it pumped the same blood around the body. He proved that blood travels to the heart in veins and away from the heart in arteries in a one-way system. He proved the blood is not used as fuel and so does not get burnt up or need to be replaced. He realised that the same blood is pumped around the body by the heart. So this is a diagram showing what he proved. So the blood leaves the heart, step one, then passes through the lung, step two, and back to the heart and then around the body and arteries for step three. Then blood comes back to the heart along the veins, step four, before starting the circulation around the body once again. So how did he do it? So let's once again link it to our factors of change. Science and technology. Mechanical water pumps may have given him the idea that blood could be pumped around the body. Harvey also used modern methods, for example, reading other scientists' books, and he would do experiments and write down the results. Individual genius. Harvey read the works of earlier doctors and spent hours repeating experiments in detail. And finally, attitude seeking improvement. Harvey was not happy to keep on believing that Galen was correct. He tested Galen's theories through his own experiments. So what impact did Harvey have? Let's look at the positives first. His discoveries helped future investigations into the study of blood. Many aspects of medicine depend on understanding the blood system. Surgery, for example, could not develop until after Harvey's discovery. Harvey proved that dissection was important for progress. He said that it was important to learn from doing rather than using books. However, there was still more to discover about blood. So, for example, blood groups were not discovered until um, 1901, and until this time, blood transfusions could not be made properly. Harvey also did not know how blood moves from arteries to veins through capillaries. His ideas were only partially accepted. Some doctors ignored him because he disagreed with Galen, and it took 50 years before universities began teaching him Harvey's ideas. His discovery did not actually make anybody better. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the Personal History Hub.